Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by handing over to GoInvest the International Organization for Standardization's Certificate. For a government system to be nimble, it has to be both rigid in regulation, but flexible in the environment in which it operates. To achieve both of this, it is important that a set of standards that are internationally recognized form the basis on which we operate as a government. The newly acquired certificate illustrates that the company operates in accordance with one of the international standards developed and published by the ISO. President Ali said the significant development shows clearly that government is committed to building a system across Guyana that is efficient, reliable, and responsive to the people. It demonstrates that we are committed to delivering world-class service in a world-class environment with world-class standards, world-class guidelines, and subjecting ourselves to world-class audits because to maintain the certification, the ISO certification, it requires that the organization and everything we do within the organization operate at all times at a high level. His Excellency also expressed the heartfelt sorrow for the loss of an outstanding Guyanese, Philomena Sohoy Shuri. He said, and I quote, It is with inexpressible sorrow that I learned of the passing of Mistress Philomena Sohoy Shuri. Her death has robbed me, the People's Progressive Party, and the Guyana of an exceptional human being who touched every life with which she came into contact. I considered her as family, friend, colleague, and comrade. She, along with my late grandmother, was in the vanguard of Guyana's struggle for independence. She was also involved in the struggle for the restoration of democracy and helped build a free and democratic Guyana. Our country owes an eternal debt of gratitude to this outstanding daughter of our soil who was a fearless and formidable fighter in the struggle for freedom. End of quote. President Dr. Irfan Ali made an impromptu visit to Kumaka Mines, Region 10, where he engaged residents. Whilst there, the president committed to rehabilitating the community center, which is in a deplorable state. He also addressed several other issues raised by the residents. President Ali was accompanied by international soccer star, Marshall Montano. As World Teachers Day was celebrated, His Excellency affirmed that the service teachers provide is invaluable. The demands on teachers are far greater today than they were ever before. However, with the aid of technology, with, uh, with help in doing research, they are better equipped. They have more tools available to, the, to them to handle the complexity and the new challenges that are emerging. The environment uh, that teachers are working in too must be able to give them the best possible safeguards and the best possible motivation in delivering quality education to the children of our country. These are important components in the whole uh, theme of transformation in the education uh, sector beginning with teachers. Dr. Ali affirmed that government is giving teachers the best possible opportunity for them to better themselves and the service they provide. What did we do over the last two years? We established the GOAL program. Under the GOAL program alone, we have more than 2,000, almost 2,150 teachers studying at the moment. Different programs under the GOAL program. Close to 2,150 teachers. This is an opportunity that never existed. Over the last two years, we have been able to deliver this to teachers. And I'm very pleased that teachers are making use of this opportunity. They're en enrolling in large numbers on the GOAL program. And as a result, we have more than 2,150 teachers who are now on the GOAL program. We have more than 2,500 teachers across the system pursuing higher education, either degree, degree program, a master's program or a PhD program. This is part of the 
personal transformation, the personal upliftment that is linked to meeting the future requirements and needs and capacity and capability of the education system itself. Dr. Ali also announced that senior citizens will be receiving a one-off cash grant of $28,000 to offset their expenses. This new announcement of this one-off grant in 2022 will provide an additional $1.8 billion in disposable income to our pensioners. In a special address to the nation, President Ali said the new measure adds to the plethora of policies and the programs being implemented by the PPPC administration to improve the lives of senior citizens. To our senior citizens, I wish to say that the government will continue to respect and honor the service you have given to our country over the years. As we continue to take all the steps necessary to ensure that the quality of life you enjoy continue to improve in every regard. Since the PPPC assumed the office in August of 2020, Old age pension was increased by 36.6% from $20,500 to $28,000. Beyond this, the electricity and water subsidy for old age pensioners was also reintroduced. And this has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.